Hey, my fellow stock music musicians. Today I've got a quick video on the order of using delay and reverb. Should you use delay and then reverb, reverb and then delay, or delay and reverb simultaneously? Well, we're going to get into the differences of each of these setups in a few minutes, but before that, I just want to ask you to leave any questions or comments you might have below about how you like to use delay and reverb together. I'd also like to invite you to subscribe if you haven't done that already. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you dislike it, give me a thumbs down, but please tell me why so I can make better videos next time. Okay, let's take a listen to what's going on here. I've just selected a simple loop here. Nothing too crazy. So what is the difference between delay and reverb? Well, delay basically theoretically just creates exact copies and spaces them apart, although more advanced delays will do more than that. Whereas reverb creates sort of a space, an echo, without noticeable repeats. It is more about lengthening a specific sound and sort of washing it out. Now there's no correct answer to delay versus reverb coming first. In fact, there's a right time for each of them. But I would say that not, uh, maybe five times out of 10, you want to put delay first and then reverb. Three times out of 10, you're gonna to wanna to do reverb and delay simultaneously. And then the last two times, you're gonna do reverb and then delay. But reverb and delay is much more of a creative effect. So let's take a listen. So the first thing we'll do is load up. We'll just load a simple um, digital delay line. So let's just listen to what, and we'll put everything at 50%. So this is what the loop now sounds like with just delay. Do you hear how it's repeating it? Alright, now let's put a reverb on. And just we'll do this RV7000. Um, and we'll do a room just because it's um, going to be more noticeable. Actually, we'll even do a long, a mid haul at 50%. So we're going to turn off the delay. You hear how that just makes it sound like it's in a bigger space, but not necessarily repeat? Okay, so that's the difference between reverb and delay. If you want to know how to dial in a great reverb setting in Reason, I've got a video that I just made on that. It's really helpful for mastering the reverb side of this. So click on that link. I'll put it down below as well, but it should have just popped up. Okay, so let's listen to what happens when you do delay into reverb. Basically, you make the repetitions and then all of those get bigger. Do you hear how that's repeating the echoes? As a, or the re, that's, that's widening the repeats of the delay. Now, in contrast, if you put delay after the reverb, what you're going to do is you're going to be making repetitions of the reverberated space. And this can sound really muddy at times. Especially if you do it with the bigger delay. And that's going to accentuate the tail of the reverb a lot more. So what you're hearing is the back end of the reverb repeating a lot more. Let's listen again. And actually what I'll do is I'm just going to make it. Um, so this is going to make it even easier. To hear. So in, in version one, we're going to have the re reverb into the delay. Now let's listen to version two. So with the delay first, you're hearing the front end. You're hearing the original attack more, and then the tails are a little less pronounced, whereas when you do reverb first, what you're hearing is a lot more of the reverb tail also getting echoed but not as much of the initial definition of the delay. And now there's one other thing I want to show you, 
And this is what happens if we do a reverb and a delay simultaneously, but not into each other. So it's like you've got two separate effects going on at the same time. So the way we're going to do that is through using send effects. And if you want to know how to set up send effects in the right way, which I'm not doing here, I've got probably one of my most popular videos of all time dedicated to how to use sound, uh, send effects in reason. I'll put a link to that. It should pop up and there'll be one down below. So now we've got this version right here and it's the effects on it are bypassed. So here we've got the mixer and we're going to use the send. So we're going to send the loop first to a reverb. But we're also going to send it to an echo. sends and do them in parallel, you're getting the best of both worlds, but they're not affecting each other. So there's a right place and a right time for all of these combinations. It's up to you to decide creatively what you would like to do. Do you want to emphasize the attack more? Then you're probably going to want to do delay into reverb. Do you want to emphasize the tails and more of the ambience? Then you might want to do reverb into delay. Or do you kind of want both effects going on but more subtly, well then maybe you're just going to want to use sense and do reverb and delay simultaneously. So like I said, if you have any questions, leave them below. If there's anything you'd like me to make a video about, let me know. And I really appreciate you watching this. Have a great day.